This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop, where you guys, the pit crew, you are the real star today's show. And, uh, yeah, my intro's repetitive, but you know what? I really mean it. It's heartfelt. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be, I'm going to be honest, give you guys a little heartfelt moment. Um, I really look forward to this show every day. And yesterday, I thought I was having a bad day, and now today I realize, no, you know what? I'm fighting a bug. I have a little low-level cold, nothing big deal, just enough to sap energy and make me not my normal super jovial self. Um, and then I'm, I'm prepping for this show, and I'm watching the chat before the show, and I'm just thinking, man, I'm such a lucky guy. I get to do this show. I get to hang out with my friends and talk about sim racing and not feel like a total dork, but feel like I'm covering the news that is important to me. I don't want to hear the news of the world anymore. I want to hear sim news. So that's what we're here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the show. And I really, really mean that sincerely because today it is a little pickup just being here hanging out with you guys. Uh, and I am in a good mood. I'm just a little under the weather. But we have a lot to go. And I think now that the show's going and I got another show planned, uh, I think I'll find a little adrenaline carrying me a little ways as well. So what's going on? Not a lot going on in sim racing today on a Thursday, the 28th of June, but uh, Codemasters, they are now teasing the F1 2018 with their cover art. And you could say, eh, who cares? But you know what? It is kind of cool. F1 2018 is going to be one of the leaders in the esport world, hands down. They have the real F1 affiliation, not just in the licensing, but with the whole esport thing and the whole draft going on. This is a big deal. So just taking a look at the art, and let's just for a moment get excited. Okay, what are the covers going to look like? And never really thought of it in this capacity, but if you were really a marketing genius, what would you do? Well, you'd make different cover art for different regions. So, for example, looking here, what we're looking at is the main version of the game. This is the main version, which is going to be Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, and uh, Sebastian Vettel on the cover, like that. But... When you go to Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, no, no, no. We're going to go ahead and move things around just a little bit, aren't we? We're going to have Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel in the center, and Lewis Hamilton. Uh, from there, moving into the Australia, New Zealand. Well, sure, they're big fans of Ricardo. So let's put him in the front, Vettel in the back, Hamilton. So I thought it was just kind of cool. In France, this is the way it's going to play out. Spain's going to get their own variation, of course, of course. Uh, Netherlands. Gee, there's a big surprise who's on the front. <laughs> anyway, I just think this is pretty cool. And, uh, not, it, it, you know, I don't know why. It never really dawned on me uh, that they would do that. But, of course, they do. And I'm sure they do that and have been doing this for years. It's not even a new thing. But um, I thought it was just uh, pretty cool. So, what else? Uh, Riza, all their stuff. I'm going to just keep plugging because they promoted it on their Twitter feed, but remind you about the Steam Summer Sale in case you forgot. Not a terrible time. In fact, I need to to uh, re I need to buy a handful of games right now while there is a big sale just to make sure my library is uh, full because, you know, here I'll pull up my Steam library real quick. That's always a... Uh... Yeah, I've ever played the... Uh... You know, confess, I confess, I confess I own this game, or even worse, I confess that I have played 330 hours of City Skylines. Anyway, uh, there are a few games missing from my uh, library, so I'm going to go to that summer sale and uh, pick up some titles as well. In addition to that, R Factor 2 obviously is also on sale there. So if you haven't, you might want to check out uh, the Steam summer sale. There's a ton of games over there. Uh, FA Racing posted the list of drivers who have officially qualified for the Porsche Sim Racing Trophy at Sim Racing Expo this year. This is going to be a big deal. It's still a way, uh, move it over a bit, Sean, can't see the list. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, we'll bring back, uh, the list. <laughs> Here's Sean's list. I confess, here are the games I own. Not all of them are installed, and I'm actually missing a you on here because I do have a second account um, I need to zoom it in but okay let back to it but uh, I'm gonna pull up this picture and hey who are your friends who are the guys you race against who are the guys you know of <laughs> logically thank you it's an admission of excellence I like that uh, SimCity 4 Wow I, I, I like Skylines a lot 
Uh, who do we know? Uh, Camille Fronchok, Sebastian Job, Enzo Benito, Graham Carroll. I'm missing some, of course. Mitchell DeJong. I'm just blazing through the list real quick. But who do you know? Who have you raced against? Ade Coba Lopez. Uh, Jordan DeChamps, Joni Tormala, Frederick Rasmussen, uh, I'm sure Jeremy Boodaloop, uh, wow, there, this is a real Dawid Nowitzki, Nowakowski, no, he's not who I thought he was, but, uh, this is a who's who of qualifiers for that, including some of the guys from the FA Racing Group. So that should be pretty fun to watch when it comes up at Sim Racing Expo. And a good reason to go there if you're in Europe. I'm not going to be able to make it this year. Not going to happen. But uh, if you can, you're going to see some cutthroat racing in person there. Uh, I love that so many of you guys play uh, Sim City. It's not a troll account. It's a, a dated account. Uh, it's just... It's, Steam's weird with your accounts and how it's linked to things. And I have one that was not link to what I do and blah blah, blah. uh updating riffs minimum recommended specs OS to Windows 10 so it sounds like they're going to a move that eventually is going to make older operating systems obsolete in terms of their uh ultimate uh progression with the the technology so all you oculus guys if you're running on windows 7 you might get to a point where you're going to need to upgrade to windows 10 and that could be a game changer for oculus and you know some of the owners i mean some people are pretty adamant about keeping windows 7. corsair is acquiring elgato i own an elgato capture card to bolster its streaming lineup so just another of the bigs gobbling up another the current climate of our uh world and economics and i'm not sure if that's good or bad i mean corsair is a great company and great name so sure that's great um elgato was another unique company i don't know maybe it's better i don't know i don't want to get political i'm just telling you corsair is acquiring elgato uh this is cool it has nothing to do with sim racing but i just can't help but talk about it but i had heard about the tesla model s racing series that was going to happen and so here we have our first sighting of a Tesla race car. Uh, this is this is not a joke. It's not April Fools. This is a electric car. Teslas are awesome. I've driven in this car. It is an awesome car. Um, actually, the one I was in was not that. This is a raced out S. I've been in an S, but I have not been in anything like that. Anyway, what I, uh, horsepower is insane on this thing. Uh. 778 horsepower 734 pounds of torque uh 0 to 62 in 2.1 seconds and it'll top out at 155 miles an hour um <laughs> hands free they can run hands free that's very funny john um anybody know of any teslas in sim uh is there a tesla in, i'm gonna guess Gran Turismo or Forza would be the first to go to it. Uh, what is what is the best Tesla in sim racing? Uh, oh, look. Their series will be supported by an electric karting championship and an eSports series using the Assetto Corsa Racing Simulator. I didn't even see that in the story when I was like, oh, this isn't even sim racing related. Holy crap. I didn't know that, or did I and I've forgotten. But what is the current best Tesla in sim? Uh, you guys know I'm working on this right here. But here is another option, and this comes to us out of uh, solid sim racing gear. And it's just deciding, where was this, objective-racing.com? Uh, that's a beauty, huh? This is a Bentley. This is a replica of the actual Bentley GT3 wheel. Uh, four encoders, 12 push buttons. It's, uh, working on the board from Leo Bodner, it looks like. Ooh, it's got that fancy Q1R quick release. Uh, 
don't see a price on it, but you can check them out if you're interested. I'm sure this is going to be pricey. It's made of pricey parts. Uh, but it's solid sim racing gear. My first time I've seen this. I think I saw a post about something like it. Uh, Forza 4 had an electric car. Forza has the Tesla. Thank you, Dave Blair, our in-house Forza specialist. Um... Actually, I need to talk to you about that, Dave. Uh, <laughs> GT5 and 6 had a Tesla. Thank you, Spatial. Uh, any real Sims? No offense to those. Any PC Sims that are featuring it? Oh, what, how coincidental is this? We have our Fnatic uh, wheel ad right there. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a great observation, Darren. Is this uh, sanctioned? Uh, allowing them to sell this... Uh, provided by Sparco, the wheel itself is the same as the official Bentley GT3 M Sport team provided by Sparco. So this, in purchasing it that way, they might get the ability? I, I don't know. That's a great question. Crew 2's America features some very weird stories. So anyway, it's just I haven't played the game, but some very funny buildings within it. Things that may or may not make sense. Restaurant, grilled chicken, coffee. Pizza, pizza, grilled pizza. Pizza, coffee, grilled, best burger. <laughs> anyway, some uh, mismatching signs and things. But it is cool just to see that they have that kind of thing. That's something I always liked in Grand Theft Auto, even if it gets repetitive. It's like, well, I want to see at least names and signs that look representation of what I would see in a real city. Um, anyway, some sites of the Americana from the Crew 2 just to get a look at this is at pcgamer.com and uh interesting to see anyway crew two and nair automata live stream and code giveaways so this is posted five hours ago this guy near n-i-e-r automata is going to be doing a stream at 4 p.m bst 10 a 11 a.m eastern time so that's an hour ago <laughs> excuse me uh might want to check it out if you want to try to win some codes you can go over there crew 2 fat lunch trailer and play early period um i don't know i've had enough of the crew motors motorsporttotal.com but it is the crew it's one of our sims okay forza horizon 4 horizon life campaign detailed opt out of online with one button press um it actually goes on to talk about some of the detail and some of the thoroughness that's in the coming Forza Horizon 4. Uh, and they talk about it in a good manner and correcting some of the issues on the previous versions when look, looking at it through the perspective of people who like that open arena, that, that free world driving type game versus the on a track, we're racing Silverstone this week, that track... Uh, Near Automoto is a game. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Todd. Thank you, Spatial. Or logically. I, I'm i not always on top of everything. I will be the first to admit that. So thank you for having my back on that. Uh, hopefully you guys got the point if you want to do that. But uh, correcting a lot of the way you deal with uh, the other online players and the interactions with that and some of the annoying features that they believe Forza Horizon 3 had. So if, if, if you're into that, you can check that out at WCCF Tech. Uh, July 2018 Xbox Game Pass Edition. So just want to let you know because Dirt 4 uh, is on there. So if you do have an Xbox Pass and you want to play Dirt 4, it's going to be available to you. And Or if you have some Xbox money burning a hole in your pocket. I don't know. But there you go. Uh, true Achievements. Talking about the Pro Achievement List Revealed. And this is for MX GP Pro. So, again, I know when it comes to... I, no, I have to admit. Even when I like look at like an iRacing, it's like, would it kill them to create these? I mean, like when you get your first win, you get a certain... Oh, wait. They do have racing has an achievements thing. I've just forgotten. It was so long since... I need to go look at my iRacing achievements. But here they are for MXGP. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
what else we got to talk about today? All right. So there's like the GPU CPU wars and adding cores seems to be one of the latest arguments Four, six, eight, blah, blah, blah. Uh, pro overclocker, their eight hour, uh, He's saying they're wasting their time on that. Now, this is a guy who master in overclocking. I actually did watch an overclocking competition once. I was on an NVIDIA uh, party uh, event, whatever you want to call it, and they were having an overclocking competition. And these dudes were like just like setting up their computers and they're like pouring liquid nitrogen all over their equipment. And it's like... It was insane what they were doing just to get these computers to like spit out these numbers. And uh, anyway, this guy's saying that that's really not uh, a big deal and it's not worth the energy and the, the direction they're going. And he makes a great argument for just overclocking in general. And in this article at PC Gamer, he also mentions his favorite CPU coolers. So if you want to be a beast like him, uh, as logically put it, then we will go. You might go check out and read that entire uh, article. Sony, uh, they've been a little behind the boat when it comes to cross-platform, but they're still looking at possibilities for total cross-platform play uh, between PS4 and PC gamers on the games that are available on both. Um, oh, he just made it. Oh, look at that. We have somebody who's a big fan of uh, Der Eight Bauer. Der Bauer. Thank you for that. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, anyway, uh, lots of ums today. Sorry, you guys. Like I said, I'm a little out of sorts. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I have a head cloud. <laughs> anyway, we talked about that. So they're looking into that as an option. This I know nothing about, but it was at PC Gamer and it's relevant to people who are, you know, really into this stuff. But... AMD clears up confusion over rebranding FreeSync 2 to FreeSync 2 HDR. So, that is over my head. And at some point, one of our gurus on Patreon will explain it to me when it becomes something I need to know about. But you guys are going to want to know about that. Uh, this is just an interesting article. I don't know if you guys remember the story, but Oculus versus ZeniMax and a big $500 million judgment against Oculus soon after the purchase or acquisition by Facebook. Um, anyway, uh, there was a new ruling on it, knocked it in half, and it rejected the idea of them getting uh, or preventing future tech of theirs being used by Oculus. Like, the settlement just just totally includes that. So, that's Oculus News. Our Oculus News, by the way, I saw before the show, someone said, what Oculus News? Well, we actually had two. We had uh, the... the, the $250 million that will still be in the hands of Oculus, which is, you know, good for that company, bad for ZeniMax. And then the other is the Windows 10 uh, being their primary focus for the future. Uh, get a three-month PlayStation Plus membership for 25% off this weekend. So if you want to do there, I, these are kind of interesting things for the people who are bored. My brother actually just fired up his Xbox Gold pass because he was bored with all the current games he has and decided he just wanted to choose from six random games so uh that's what he ended up doing anyway 25 <laughs> percent on the playstation version motorsport.com who i really don't want to talk about very much anymore because they've gone to that paywall thing that pissed me off that one time <laughs> no i love motorsport it's just a shame i can't access everything i want uh but uh, it was Zach Brown, right? Yeah, Zach Brown talking about eSport becoming the new grassroots of motorsport and talking about how obscene like karting has become in pricing and how legitimate the champions and the best of the best in sim racing are at transferring to real-life motorsport. So we've been focusing on the eSport angle a lot. That's where we're growing fast. But don't be surprised if – that's a great question, Tom. I'll ask, answer that in one moment. Don't be surprised if you don't see the top of the top guys from some of these series being given opportunities and not want to be promotional. Let's put, see what the kid can do in a car. But, hey, we're going to put you in an 
you know, uh, under you know, low series uh, open wheeler for a season, uh, you know, and essentially draft you from here. Uh, you know, talk about having Clay as a driver. We're going to draft you, and we're going to completely control the conditions because you don't really have a path. Anyway, uh, cool article at motorsport.com. Oh, and that kind of takes us to the end of the news. Holy, holy what? So, a little bit of news. I don't know if you guys play a lot of multiplayer of Assetto Corsa, but yesterday all of their servers were down all day long. And it meant that's why we didn't have a stream last night at 6. And it really sucks. I don't know how to notify you guys if there's not going to be a stream. If I've told you oh, I'll be on the air at 6 and it can't happen, I guess I could go on the air and be like, sorry it didn't happen, but wouldn't that like be a weird... I don't know. Anyway, I am sorry we didn't get to stream that. Servers are back on. So that is... Yes, we covered that at the very beginning, Nick. That was the first story of the day. Um, and my brother just got burned out on PC racing. My brother got to that point where it was like he was sick of downloading, he was sick of updates, he was sick of graphic card update making his computer not work. Um, and he just got bored with it. And now he doesn't even online play very much, uh, on the Xbox. He just plays things that allow for solo career. So anyway... Uh, to finish the news story part of this, uh, Assetto Corsa servers are back online, and we will be racing tonight at Mo Sport, <laughs> Canadian Motorsport Park. Uh, this race is going to be interesting. Uh, this might be one to tune in for because it's an interesting track. It's it's this version of Mo Sport is not the easiest version of Mo Sport to drive. And we'll see how it plays out in the race tonight at 6. So tune in for that. Okay, so it's the 28th of the month. And I am going to promote the patron program right now because it always starts at the beginning of the month, really. Um, today, in an hour from now, I am actually going to film live my review of the Sam Maxwell Customs Delara wheel rim. And I'm going to film it live. And the patron guys are going to be there to watch me screw it up. Watch me, uh, uh, you know, see the mistakes. See what I go through trying to film it. And then afterward, they're going to actually, we'll do a little Q&A that will all be private for the patron. Now, it's the same thing that I'm going to edit for you guys, for everybody. So, the patron program is about being on the inside of the sim pit. Uh, we hang out on Discord and we chat all day. We coordinate spontaneous Wreckfest events. We, you know, we're having a, a, a patron-only race that I'm going to broadcast in the booth. I'll be announcing the guys racing next weekend uh, on iRacing. Uh, there are a lot of perks. So that is one thing that we're going to be doing, and that's going on in an hour. And that's only for them. You guys will see the edited show by this weekend, hopefully. Then on Monday, I'm going to do a live unboxing of the Sim Experience AccuForce wheel. I'm going to unbox it. We're going to get close up of all the parts. We're going to put it together. We're going to install it on the rig. And then we're going to get down and do some driving. And some of that footage will be used in the edited version. So you guys will see the necessary parts. But hanging out with me, experiencing it for the first time, and being able to ask questions while I'm doing it and being part of it is one of those perks as well. So I, I rarely promote, but today I will, because if you want to get in on it, you got to get in on it. Basically, over the end of the month is when it does turn over. So that is going on today, and I have the link for the patron in the description of the show, or you just go to the patron, patron, P-A-T-R-E-A-N, yeah, oh, O-N, I'm sorry, P-A-T-R-E-O-N forward slash the sim pit, and you can check that out. Uh... And then if you haven't seen it yet, I did do the full review of the Sim... Is it SimCube or SimuCube? I might have screwed that up. Sorry, guys. Uh, 30 Newton near direct drive wheel. The biggest monstrous beast of a wheel. Find out if you need that strong a wheel and how good it performed. If you haven't seen it, you can check that out at the Sim Pit uh, YouTube channel as well. And lastly, I'll just close with the map just to give you an idea. No new additions in the last day, but... 
There is the map. There is the pit crew. That's where we are all from. So when we're sitting here talking the news each and every day, know that that's where your friends throughout the world who love sim racing as much as you do and where they come from. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. I'm going to be back on the air, patron only, in one hour doing that wheel review live which you guys will all be able to see over the weekend if you're not a patron team member as well so that's going to do it for today's show get out there do some racing come back tonight at six and watch us race or get out there with us just go to sim racing system and join there this is the sim pit i'm sean cole and i'll see you on the track